Welcome to Better Storytelling. In this program, you'll learn how to repair a broken story. The first 20 pages. Writing a great story can be a mystery. When a writer compares a movie that costs $200 million to a movie that costs $2 million, it would seem that the more expensive movie would win out all the time. Not so. A movie could have the best director, popular, talented actors, fantastic special effects, and a great budget. But when the expensive movie is shown to the public, more often than not, it will fail, losing hundreds of millions of dollars. A bewildered writer might look at a movie and wonder what went wrong. It's quite easy to break a story. After all, there are literally hundreds of decisions that have to be made while composing a novel or screenplay. With so many ways to destroy a good story, it can be difficult to discover what went wrong. So when a story goes bad, where do you look? The most important part of your story is contained within the first 20 pages. If your story is broken, go back and look at the beginning of the story. The reason this is so is because there are so many things going on when the story opens. The beginning. When a story begins, several things must occur. A writer must introduce the setting, introduce the main character, demonstrate character flaws, hint at the hero's backstory through a problem, introduce the opponent, introduce the quest and the desire line, introduce the theme, and hook the audience. With so many things going on, it can be difficult to do everything correctly without breaking the story. So, when there is something wrong with your story, go back to the first 20 pages and make sure all of these, th these things are handled well. Action Steps Take a look at the first part of your story and make sure these things are done well. 1. The Setting Introduce the setting carefully without boring the reader with too much exposition. Just show enough so that it isn't confusing to the audience. 2. The Main Character The hero of the story should enter a story doing something. Make your hero admirable in some way. 3. Character Flaws Demonstrate the hero's main weakness through actions that harm the main character and if it's a moral weakness, show how others are hurt too. 4. The Problem When the story begins, the main conflict hasn't occurred since the story-worthy problem hasn't been introduced yet. To overcome this, you need bridging conflict. This comes from a problem a hero is dealing with which arises out of the character's backstory. Be extremely careful when dealing with the character's history, revealing only a tiny bit, enough to explain what's going on. 5. The Opponent The antagonist must be shown near the beginning of the story so that the audience isn't confused about who the opponent is. Remember in the movie Harry Potter where the hidden opponent Quirrell is introduced in the beginning? 6. The Quest The desire line of the story is introduced through the inciting incident, which is something that happens in the beginning which turns the hero's world upside down. Make the desire as intense as possible, since it must provide the fuel for the entire story. 7. The Theme Take a look at the way the theme is introduced in your favorite books and movies. The theme is about why you are writing the story. 8. The Hook Every story needs to have a good hook. Often, this is something unique in the story idea itself, but it can be other things. Pay close attention to the first paragraph of your story. Here's what to do now. It's a good idea to examine the first 20 pages of your story, even if you don't think there are any problems with it. Most of the problems that occur in a story will come out of something mishandled in the early stages. Literary agents will generally look at the first five to ten pages, and this is usually enough for them to tell if the story is saleable. Aside from the final pages of your tale, the first twenty pages are the most important part of the story. 
make sure your opening is the best you can make it. I hope you've enjoyed this program on writing techniques. If you'd like more information, please visit my website, betterstorytelling.net, or visit my blog, betterstorytelling.net slash blog. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.